do 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 It's time. Alright, I think we're ready to go here. Thanks for waiting around a little bit. Just get everything uh, straightened out. Alright, there we go. There is the camera. Had some trouble with it when I was casting with the Alapin games yesterday, but... Not entirely sure what was going on there. So, hello. Welcome to another edition of Falcon Cast Your Brewdor Replays. Haven't been getting a lot of replays lately. The screeners asked me to tell you to send more in. So, send them to falconpaladin at gmail.com with the subject of Brood War before Thursday. Okay, just sometime in Thursday, I'm going to go ahead and wrap them all up and send them to my screeners. And that is the cutoff. So, thank you very much to Squee Wonderpants and Eric for squeening. Squeening? Because <laughs> of Squee! Squee Wonderpants must be up there. Anyway, uh, Squee Wonderpants and for screening everybody. Escalade was first here. Dead infested in the house as per usual. Macaria is here too. Nice. Christian is in... Christian, get your own YouTube, YouTube account, man. It's not hard. All I gotta do is get a new account and then subscribe to Falcon and you're done. Or you could just change the name so it doesn't show up as Ashley every time. Smash Dats Democracy is in the house too. Morgan McKelleny. Oh, excellent. Yeah, I'm sorry. I Yes, I did mess it up. Nobody told me until now that I scheduled it for 9.30 p.m. instead of 9.30 a.m. I don't know what, I mean, I don't know if that's going to mess anything up, but I sincerely hope not. Yeah, our, our numbers might be lower today because people are expecting this to be late. Uh, 9.30 p.m. my time, obviously. Anyway, Eric is here. Wait, you said you weren't going to be here. Oh, because you thought it was in 12 hours. Okay, that's funny. That is funny stuff. Nobody was like, why did you schedule it at such a different time than usual? Yeah, if something like that is going on, feel free to ping me about it, especially on Discord. I'm all over the Discords. Terry the Overlord is in the house. I'm not sure who you used to be, Terry the Overlord, but that's you now. What's up, Makej Kowalski? I don't know how to say that, but I think that was it. Possibly. Who else is here early that gets a shout out? Chase Holstein. Oh, he wants he wants the show already. Teddy Bear here too. Teddy Bear and Terry the Overlord. Lots of teas. Modest one, member modest one. And creator of the Stasis Nuke combo in team games. Okay, that's not true. He's not the creator of it, but still. Uh, fastest map version of Phantom sounds nuts. Smash. Uh, G22 SDA. Matt Perkins. Longtime fan Matt Perkins. Humberto in the house. All caps, Humberto is here. Hope you're having a great day, too. Lawrence Chavez Fernandez. Longtime stream watcher. Toss a like to your caster in this valley of plenty. Mana birds. Go, 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 says Teddy Bear. Let's move. Oh, making computer do things is here. What's up, guys? How is your AI research going? YouTube ads are killing you, says Matt Perkins. On my videos? I hope not. I notice a lot of people are like, hey, I've got a 10-minute video. Let's put four ad breaks in there. And I'm like, what? No, don't do that. But that's the default, right? Like, the default is a ton of ad breaks if you let YouTube do their thing. So I... So I disabled mid-roll, right, and um, so I sh shouldn't be doing that with mine anyway. God. Uh, maybe, Robin. That's not a bad idea. I 
Ah, it's election season. So, is the election going to be over next week? No. We have one more week of election season, and then we'll be over. I really don't want to talk about politics in this. Come to the Discord if you want to fight about politics. We'll do it there. Ah, you're playing the Terry Live game. Buy premium. That's why I'm using the wife's account. What are you... What? I don't know what you're talking about, Ashley. Ha <laughs> ha, Christian. All right. I don't know. I don't know what that has to do with anything. Let's get on into our viewer submitted folder for 2020, the month of October and the 25th, which is today. We've got a good selection here. I think we'll do pretty well with it. We have some stuff on hunters. We've got some team stuff. We have some fastest map things. We've got an awesome 3v5 from RJB that he sent in, which is beautiful. And yes, this is our fastest map. We've got 1v1s. A 1v1 on Hunters, actually, which I don't know that we've cast a 1v1 on Hunters. Maybe ever. Usually if you're on Hunters, it's a team game, you know? YouTube premium, no ad breaks. Oh, 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 oh. Ashley's account is premium. Okay. Fair enough. Can't argue with that. No, I'm hoping the election happens and it's nice and quiet and nothing, we never talk about it ever again. That's what I'm looking forward to here. No, Dead Infested, YouTube Premium. You're paying for it. You get no ads because you're just paying money directly. I get money for that. YouTube Premium members, if they watch me watch my stuff, I get some, some money from that one too, so... Yeah, if you just if you hate ads, you just want to sign up for YouTube Premium. Thumbs up. I'm not gonna say no to that. <laughs> Sarkadi, ah, the COVID made you stay apart from your girlfriend. Rough stuff. What's up, Radara Radidi from Lisbon? Yeah, wishful thinking, Smash. What's up, Ricardo Rodriguez? Okay, all right, all right. You guys are very friendly today. I like it. So, usually I like to... Oh, that's an hour and 20 minutes? Holy cannoli. Wait, hold on. Did this one work? You know what? I'm realizing nobody told me anything about the free-for-all. Did you? nobody watch that one? I guess it's an hour and 20, so I can see why you wouldn't. Did you guys just see the uh, the hour and a half long video in there and you were like, nope. I could understand that if that's the case. Everybody for president. Everyone for president. Okay. Let's do... I like to pick a short one generally, but today short seems to be about 20 minutes. Yep, today's short is a 20 minute replay, so let's do it. Uh, yep, sure do. Premium YouTube is great. If you hate ads, like the two options that I'll give you if you want to support me and not watch ads is YouTube Premium and Patreon. Or if you just want to donate on a one-time basis, you can use pay, uh, PayPal too. Just falconpaladin at gmail.com on PayPal as well. Nothing crazy there. All right. It's a democracy. Fastest map. Also known as Smash Stats. Check out his YouTube channel. His name is here in the chat. Just click on it and ta-da, you'll be there with some StarCraft. Fun stuff too. He does some fun things. All right, here we go. Team one here is Democracy. The Zerg player, bottom left, he's Teal. And Cabbage, who is a blue Protoss player on the left side. Whoa, come back. We got ourselves Y6636, the other team, Yellow Protoss, and New66, who is a red Zerg player. So PZ versus PZ 
in the house. Ah, yes, they both scout each other, recognize where they are as a result at the same time at about 125. Man, I don't know if I want to be president of Brazil, Lawrence. President of Brazil sounds like a lot of work. There are some things to deal with down there. Oh, nice, cow juice. Cow juice is watching the StarCraft 2 as well. I'll put you in the pile of people that like StarCraft 1 and StarCraft 2. There are not many of us, unfortunately. What's up, D? Amazgua. Constantin is here. And guess what the Protoss are doing? That's right. Multiple gate opening. Going for a lot of zealots. Going to try to kill their opposing Zerg enemies. It's left versus right, which makes it easy to keep track of. And the Zerg players are doing pretty much the same thing. Yeah, they've each got a creep coming in. They've each got multiple hatcheries coming in. That's a second creep. So Democracy feeling a little bit more worried about this than New 66 is, which is entirely fair. Feeling worried about zealot attacks is normal. Are you cannon rushing up this way, YW? Do you also he also has a forge. Uh, sap guy! Member Sap Guy in the house. What's up, man? Can I play please? Is also a member. Just in time. Yeah, Christian, I know. Let me tell you what. I heard it from both people. StarCraft 2 fans do not like Brood War. Brood War fans do not like StarCraft 2 generally. And it makes me sad, because for me, StarCraft is StarCraft, and they're all my children, but we've had this rant before. Oh, are you also cannon rushing? <laughs> ah, both the Protoss are dirty, dirty cannon rushing cheesers. Good heavens. Yeah, Dad, I saw that in the Discord. Rough stuff, man. Turns out, uh, different attack types mean different things in Brood War. And yellow's choking your front. And this is happening. Cabbage doesn't know about this cannon rush at all. And suddenly, ta-da! New 66 is in a lot of trouble. Yeah, this is really bad for New 66 all of a sudden. He, um... All three of these hatcheries are in trouble can't really do much about this. He doesn't have enough links for it. He was relying on Sunkins to defend him. Uh, this is happening. I'm pretty sure that Cabbage recognizes what is happening. That's why these cannons are coming up here. Oh, Overlord, get out. Oh, no. Overlord dies. Zealots can't engage because there are too many Sunkins, but these hatcheries are all dead. All right, man. We got 6636 here is with Zealots. Trying to make sure this cannon dies at the very least, which allows him to get a bit of an advantage with these cannons coming up on the right side and the left side. Ah, oh, that's well defended. This I can't believe this cannon can hit that one. That's incredible stuff. It can hit this these two as well. Man. Uh, oh, new 66 coming in for support. Where's the support from democracy? What are you doing against this onslaught? Oh, boy. Ling's really just going to be focusing down cannons for the most part here, but not doing a great job of it. And in fact, that cannon survives with 9 HP. Yeah, so all those hatches... Dude, this guy, he has no macro at all. New 66 is on one hatch at five and a half minutes. Democracy's just like, I, I mean, my buddy can handle himself, obviously. I don't need to assist with what's going on up there. I'll just sit back here, go up to a lair, get, I don't know, what are we doing? Lurkers? Yep, lurker aspect getting started. Zealot on zealot crime in the middle of a map. Okay, yeah, there you go. I mean, I gotta say, yeah, for you not to help out your opponent, are you fine? Says democracy. Yeah, says the cabbage. I'm gonna lose my forge. But, you know, could be worse. Got all this 
gas potential on the left side. I have no gas in coming all right now, but that's probably fine. I'm making another forge to replace the one. No, that's not happening. Yeah, YW is committing a ton to these cannons right now. I mean, he also has a couple zealots, but a, most of his resources are going into cannon production. On the other side, uh, extra hatcheries are coming up. These cannons are being left alone. New 66 has no problem with it at all. More hatchery time after the lair, after four hatcheries. Let's make maybe another four, five, six. Let's fill the base with hatcheries. Yeah, red has slowed down a ton. You're not wrong about that, cabbage. I actually got a uh, Cabbage Man Avatar The Last Airbender shirt from one of my sisters recently. It... <laughs> my cabbages! Sup, Squeal of Fortune? Sup, number one villain? Member number one villain? You can click that join button down below and also become a super cool member. Like, can I play, please? And number one here. Hey! News expanding, which is like... Sure, dude. I, I, I don't know what that's all about. I... Mm, new might actually be new. I mean, as long as the cannons don't get the Nexus, yeah, you're generally going to be okay in a PvP cannon rush scenario and fastest map. Alright, Hydra Count getting nuts here for Democracy. 76 supply. Nobody's within 10 supply of him at the moment. And this might just be some kind of an A-move scenario on Red to take him out. Although, A-moving is hard when you've got cannons at your choke. Yeah, YW's done a pretty good job pressuring both players to some extent. I mean, obviously more direct damage here to YW than it is to Democracy, but still doing all right there. <laughs> That's right. APM is uh, not, you know, not super high for the team that seems to be winning here. Is he, he's done. He's just been pumping out Zealots at the moment. Yeah, I gotta say, this number of Zealots versus this number of Zealots and five cannons? Seems like a thing. Seems difficult. What's up, Christopher Johnston? Cabbage gonna move into Reavers. We've got Lurkers to defend against potential drops over at his main. Nah, yes. Going for the Hydra drop play. Which bypasses these annoying cannons and just gets right on into the meat of it here. What's up, Bulls Arctic? And yeah, we'll play Helm's Deep today, Matt. Don't you worry about it. Here comes Lay Drop. Is there enough to defend against it? Uh, Hydra Count pretty decent for new here. Actually not bad. And uh, gonna just try to drop right... Losing Dropper Lords here. What's up, Ben Sapiro? And yeah, I don't know if this is uh, gonna do as much as Democracy wanted it to do. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, boy, that did not accomplish tons. That might be the worst drop I've ever seen from Democracy. What's up, Koa? Okay, well... I mean, democracy is supply blocked, which is horrible. Get the pylons! Ah, guess there are two of them. He really wants to kill these overlords. Look at him. It's like, hey, you thought you were safe pulling back to the overlords. No, you're not. The Bakker says, I killed some drones. Yeah, but, I mean, still have 42 workers. It's not like 
Wow, Democracy just got horribly supply blocked. The good news for him is that he's got a ton of hatches and a lot of resources to rebuild those overlords. And Red is suddenly looking all right. He's at 97 supply. He's got all of his hatcheries on the left side here. And they might go for a, yeah, a connected Zealot Hydra push here. Reavers are pretty good at defending all of this, though. Reaver just sitting back, taking shots from Dragoons and actually dying. More Reavers coming out all the time. So the Hydras are all dead, but they did buy some time for... Oh, jeez. These Reavers, though. Alright. Well, that's a problem. Some Zealots and Dragoons are defending for Cabbage, though. Man, I feel like this is a mistake coming down this way for Red. Going up and kind of following this attack up, I think, would be better. I really do. I mean, sure, maybe you think Democracy doesn't have anything, but working together to try to take down Ye or Blue might be a better idea. are doing fine. Now the Hydralisks show up, but it just feels too late. Although they're buffering kind of well for the Reavers to do their thing. Ah, the Dragoons finish them off. Democracy is finally breaking the contain on his front door here. Oh, how do you... Is there... That's interesting, Democracy. I mean, it's working for you. Simultaneous kill. Hydra's are 1-1, one, one, which makes them pretty darn scary against these Dragoons. Democracy pushing the other direction here. I like that nobody's even tried really attacking YW. He has nothing for defense. No cannons. Handful of Dragoons. Like a drop there would be pretty effective. Hey, New's getting his own lurkers. Alright, so maybe New's not that bad. Your neighbor's mowing the lawn. You know what's funny is... Uh, we actually got our first snow, first snowstorm of the year today. Woke up, maybe about two or three inches of snow on the ground. Ta-da! Happy Halloween, everyone. YW just doing the Protoss thing of making 18 Dragoons at a time and going for it. They've also got 1-1, one, one, although the shield's there. YW's... Or Cabbage is at 1-1-1. One, one, one. Uh, sure. I mean, the shuttles are here, but there's nothing much to drop at the moment. Oh, boy. Uh, Cabbage! Cabbage! Don't lose your main nexus, Cabbage! Wow, we got the main nexus. Okay, uh, he's got a backup because every good Protoss, well, every good everybody player has those. I like that Cabbage just skipped trying to kill this at all and he's going for YW here. Oh, what's up, Looney007? Ah, oof, ah. Ah. What's up, Bill Simmons? It is Sunday. And YW leaves the game after getting dropped. He has no backup Nexus. He did the damage, but he didn't have enough to defend against this. And as a result, he's done. Halloween's on the 31st. Goodbye, Bill Simmons. 
Yeah, I mean, it was cold. It's been a nice, pretty warm October for the most part, but then two days ago, it just started being fairly cold in the mornings, like under freezing, below zero Celsius, and then we got snow this morning. I really didn't expect it. It's nice. The poor kitty wants to go outside, but we said, no kitty, it's too cold and snowy. Maybe if it warms up a little bit, we said. Trying to go Guardians, but there are Mutalisks to defend. Yeah, we had some big snows last winter, Terry the Overlord. What's up, Chuckle Man? 3233. Makes me feel like classical music. 3233. 3233. And poor New 66 is alone and forgotten in this cruel world. Reavers are slow marching to try to kill him. Uh, StarCraft 2 Matt Perkins campaign. Brutal campaign as per usual. And New's actually holding off. He's maxed out on this Hydro Lurker Muta composition. But Democracy has himself some Dark Swarm, and uh, it's actually pretty good. It's going to help against exactly what New is doing right now. Mutas are dying. Control here, not super ideal. Dark Swarm comes up in the nick of time. And now, guess what? These Hydralisks are immortal against everything that's in the general area. Go snipe the Defiler. They're alone. Dude, he's attacking into the Dark Swarm. Don't do that. It's bad. And finally, the Dark Swarm wears off, but jeez, that's ridiculous. Oh, attacking into new 66. For shame. Just A moving into a Dark Swarmed army with your Hydras. And your guardians. Yeah, air attacks block, or dark swarm blocks air attacks too, absolutely. Oh boy. Alright, well. I mean, it's kind of a slow push. Yeah, number one villain. I live in Utah. Reaver gets out of the Dark Swarm and therefore dies. Meanwhile... The Doom Reaver drop is the end of New 66. That's all she wrote. Yeah, that's some. Um, that's kind of Protoss in a nutshell. Is in fastest map. Can you successfully Doom Reaver drop somebody and make them GG? Yes, great, good game. That was amazing. All right, so let's see, Democracy ended with a 77 APM. That is definitely. I think that was his goal under 70 APM. <laughs> New 66, actually not too bad. Ended up producing more units than anybody and killing more than anybody. But it was just overwhelmed in a 2v1 scenario once his teammate left him.
Democracy, more resources than anybody else. Excellent, excellent job there. Alright, let's move this on. We have some longer replays today, but not as many. Not as many. Let's do... I'm gonna do some Terran stuff. We'll do a democracy one next. What's up, Tristan Jason? What's up, Nathan? Yeah, Lap Mogul, it wasn't... It wasn't great. Okay, we're gonna do a Big Game Hunter's crazy game from Modest One, since he is in the house here today. And yeah, so all the teams are next to each other. And there are some uh, some NFL team name colors involved here. So, if I understand this correctly, what we're looking at is Akral MC Ta and Tricolo Peru working together. Because then they can wall this off. And then we have Viejo and Flower Suds together because they can wall this area off. And then we've got... Uh, Bud Werzerg and Molesy working together because they can kind of take the center a little bit. It gets dicey in this area of the map though, and Modest One and Party Animal don't really have a shared choke. But uh, some of these other ones do. So yeah, I think that's what we're looking at for teams. Everyone's just right next to each other. That's how it's been previously. Broncos, Seahawks, Vikings, and Pink. So Broncos... Oh... Wait, so that means orange and blue. Broncos, Seahawks. Viejo is with... But ah, gosh dang it. Alright, so they're not next to each other. Tragically. Flowers with Moosley. Yeah, alright. Alright, so we don't have players sitting next to each other, which is a problem. But it is a 2v2v2v2 2v2 2v2 regardless. This feels like a cannon rush. Alright, so definitely this is cannoning in Modest One. Definitely Team Peak is working together here. So that's an issue. Wait, this is pink attacking pink. What is team pink? Oh, there's peach. <laughs> yeah, that's terrible. Light pink and peach are terrible. You said that, Eric. You told me. Okay, so at least top left corner is on the same team. Because I don't know why these marines would not be killing this otherwise. Also, this is... Yeah, alright. So they're Sharon. We're a one base Terran, two base Zerging at top left. We're alive. Featuring the President, Mr. Kennedy Smash. Maybe I would. Maybe I would. Alright, so Team Pink is on the right side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we got kind of next to each other. And then... Oh, Lurker drop here on Modest One. Not ideal. 
not super great, but at least he has his natural base he can fall back to. Alright, so this is purple attacking. So it is definitely modest one and party animal. So yeah, modest one and party animal. Team pink. And then peach is here getting wrecked with purple. Okay, so the right side isn't necessarily together, unfortunately. That is an unfairness situation for sure. What's up, White Paw? We did. I'm sorry. I said it was going to be later, but that was... I just set it for 12 hours off accidentally. My bad. Oh, the Irradiate. Nice split. Eventually, we got there. So for a second, it felt like you were taking down pylons, but nope. Not taking down pylons. Yep, Musley's in a lot of trouble. Hydras are popping out to try to deal with this. Also, some lurkers to assist. And the lurkers do a fantastic job. Okay, so now, right side, peach and purple are hanging out together. And then the pinks all have this right side. Okay, that makes sense. Meanwhile, party animals in here trying to take stuff down does have detection. But not enough uh, dragoons to handle the hiders that are popping out here. Yay, that's right. Watching everybody blow each other up is a good time. <laughs> oh, got some tanks pressuring a little bit here. Ah, from across the way. Ah, that sucks. That's the, everybody's favorite thing about the uh, Hunters is this very situation. Yeah, ASL is just on YouTube. It's pretty easy. Just search, um, Africa, right? Africa TV on YouTube. They do both StarCraft 2 and StarCraft, GSL and ASL out there. Okay, so the right side is entirely pink. A couple guardians show up for the Triclo. Triclo. But they're gonna die because they die to everything as is tradition. Drop. Drop attempt on modest one. some damage. Enough that Modest needs to ask for help to try to clear it up. Which is fair. Uh, some queens in the mix for Peru. Alright. I haven't seen queens on the channel in some time. That's nice. Thank you for bringing those in, Peru. And they do successfully wipe out this top right. Terran Zerg combo. Pretty deadly on this map. Yeah, Guardians could need some balancing. I agree. 
The orange and blue setup team at Denver Broncos doing pretty well with their Dragoon Siege Tank setup. But yeah, looks like he's done. Musley's left the game. So you set attack corner and then you sat. <laughs> it's got some thoughts here. So Musley's out. Uh, his teammate looks like he's done too. So it turns into a three-way 2v2v2. We've got Team North here. We've got Team Denver Broncos. And then Team Pink still alive. Still working together on this right side. Alright, so just clearing out this dead base to try to get more income, because income does matter here. Although, is this this is a big game hunters, right? Ah, it's a big game hunters. Not as much, actually. Does Flash get some Zerg at all when he went random? I've heard his Zerg is a little bit weak, but maybe he's been improving it. What's up, Kyle? Kylo, rather. Hey, Kylo. Hey, Lawnmower Man. Yeah, unfortunately, Party Animal gets wiped out here. <clears throat> He's forced to relocate down this area and maybe try to rebuild up here, too. But Pink's got some cannons in the mix, which is hilarious. You saw the stream on Discord? Oh. Great stuff, Kylo. Hey, Koa. Uh, yes, I've been streaming StarCraft 2 a lot, Koa. Big old storm. There is my StarCraft 2 channel. I'm going to check that one out. Good game, bad ally. Oh no, some bad manner coming out here. Yeah, Terry Overlord, I really have been intending to do some StarCraft 2 live streams like this. I think it'd be a lot of fun. We'll set it up once we heard a certain sub goal. How about that? Over on the other channel. Ah, okay. So Flash's Zerg is a fast, aggressive Zerg player. Perus wiping out pink. This is definitely turning into a north versus south scenario here as Viedo leaves the game. He's done. Pink bottom right. Doesn't seem like they can hold out, although they've got a decent number of carriers. The party animals working on his own carrier count, and he is at 106 supply. Oh, stasis. More stasis. Yeah, I do on Africa, and I've actually been doing... I did a new stream on Trovo on Sunday, which is a new streaming site. <clears throat> Casting, like, some, honestly, some super-duper high-level stuff with Beyond Zest, Trap, and Dong Rei Gu, if you're into the StarCraft 2 stuff at all. But yeah, if you just follow me on Twitter or join the Discord, you'll find out when my live streams for both games are happening. Yeah, so Pink trying to hold out, but that is not really going to happen. Yeah, I've been times twoing from time to time because these games are long today. Like, everybody sent me hour-long games, which happens every once in a while. But short games are fun, too. You can send those in. 
What's up, Matthew Shirts? Carriers are OP unless you have a million Goliaths, as it looks like Modest One has. All right, so center being held by Team North. Team bottom left here is kind of just contained and set in their own corner here. But again, we're on big game hunters. So running out of resources is not really a concern. Yeah, Dark Swarm Goliath is kind of hilarious being defended that way. Team Denver Broncos really wants to take the center here. As a million siege tanks have been acquired. Both players are siege tanking it. And that shade of blue, especially on siege tanks, it is impossible to tell those apart. Holy cannoli. Look at that. I think a parasite just got tossed down on something. Oh, on the tanks. All right. We got some parasite happening. What's up, Donnie? Welcome to the stream. Got some snow, I was telling everybody. Not a lot, but, you know, a couple inches. It's decent. Oh, Pink's not quite dead yet because carriers are just on a rampage. Is this the last building that Pink has? Nope. Two pylons. Two pylons left, right side of his main here. <laughs> uh, yes. This is what I can do, Lat Mogul. This is how I can do team colors, buddy. So we're not doing that. Welcome back, Escalade. Very nice of you, Terry. Yeah, I mean, pink is dead. Twenty-four supply in a dream. Finally gonna get wiped out here. He still has this pylon. If you kill this pylon, these carriers die. Guess it doesn't really matter. Carrier's trying to take the center. Ah, no, Budweiser, upset, angry. I don't know that he speaks English as a first language, but he knows some swears. What's up, furry S? Hey, bright orange, it's me. It's me, Falcon Paladin. Your best friend. Wait, no, that's Carbot. All right, so 167 and 125 for Team Denver Broncos. 109 supply each for Team North here. They have more real estate, but again, I don't think it really matters at this stage where... You're not running out of cash. It's big game hunters here. You don't have to expand to get resources. That's not a concern. Yes, I know Loco, Kylo. What's up, Han? Welcome to stream. Did Carbot do an ad for AFK Arena or somebody stealing his shit? I, I don't I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about, number one. I do love Carbot, though. Um, I mean, sure, you can mine out this map, but it just takes forever. I've never seen it done. I've never seen Big Game Hunters mined out. It, nope. Yeah, I think the stream with Lapid Games went great. 
That was a ton of fun. The Protoss were fantastic. Like, Trap and Zest both played really well. Made Bion and Dongregu look kind of bad, which is uh, a little disappointing, but... Yeah, it was a lot of aggression, too. Like, a lot of proxy void rays out of Trap, which is just like, come on, man. <laughs> Blizzard, why? Yeah, no, I hear you, Sarkati. Parasiting critters. I used to do it back in the day. Yeah, it's new. It's like maybe a month old, Trovo. No warp gates, nope, Kylo, not in a uh, brood war. Just regular old gateways. Yeah, Team Denver really wants to hold on to the center here. Yeah, number one. I mean, the rising stars in StarCraft 2 are the young kids. You've got Raynor and Clem, who are both 18 years old, both Europeans, and both really good at StarCraft. Play they're the future of StarCraft 2, I think. So, the Plagued Carrier's having a bad day. Obviously, there's some storm happening here as well, though. But yeah, the Carriers need to get out. These High Templar need to get out. Because they are alone and very vulnerable as a result. Now, it really depends on the map if you're trying to wall off, if you're Protoss and Terran. They killed their own buddy there accidentally. Yeah, Clems have been having a great 2020. He is taking games off really great players, especially his uh, TBZ is fantastic. Ah, they irradiate, not getting split off against at all. And the slow, inexorable push of Team South is real. They're both maxed out. Team North is not quite there at the moment. The tanks are 3-3. There's High Templar for support. There's Corsairs for support. Hey, what's up? Love. Ultras are coming in. Carriers in the mix here, too. Might want to help out a little bit there. Carriers, but I don't know that it matters. The Ultras are all dead. The tank count is just too high. Yeah, this carrier-tank combo is pretty good. Reminds me of the final mission in StarCraft 1. When you're Terran and Protoss killing Zerg, and that's pretty much what I did. I one time I went tank carrier, other time battle cruiser carrier, good times, and that's your GG. Team Modest One and Party Animal are your winners.
All right, good stuff there. 2v2v2v2. Two 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 two. Always chaotic, always fun. There's a way we can get team colors in there to where uh, we don't have to follow that. That'd be nice. Somehow Peru had the most resources of anyone, and he died like 10 minutes early. Hey, what's it? GH? Nice. I'm glad you enjoy my streams. All right, I'm going to go get a drink refill, but I'll be right back. Let's see what we want to do next. Get you hyped for the next replay here. And uh, has RJB been here today? I haven't seen him. We'll wait until he shows up. RJB replays are always very nice. All right, let's do fun 2v2 on Ringing Bloom next. Uh, we have an Overlord, so let's do Overlord Terry the Overlord. It's time. All right, so team one is Space Dominator and Ramvid. Team two is Polarity and Yume. And let's follow Terry. No, Terry, <laughs> why did you stop? You're supposed to fly forever. Thank you for the super chat, Kezo Breaks. Much, much appreciated there. Super chats are the best. And yeah, he's probably pretty lonely, Terry the Overlord, poor guy. All right, well, what's happening? What have I missed in the three minutes that I was away? Uh, nothing at all. We're on Ringing Bloom. It's the Overmind map, Overmind Cocoon map, which again, I don't know what the purpose is here. Whatever. Yep, Super Size Coke Zero.
Well, let's speed it up, considering nobody seems to be doing much. Everyone does get a nice, nice safe base here on Ringing Bloom, which is wonderful. It's good for Protoss and Terran. Zerg, I don't know that they really care. Actually, where's their third base? Is it this? Uh, I don't know. Zerg feels disadvantaged on this map in these situations. Because they can't really harass the natural base of the enemy. And their third base is only minerals, which is like, bleh. So, yeah, but to kill this takes forever. So Zerg kills this, then throws a creep colony down super fast and makes a sunken? I just... I don't know, man. I don't get it. If they were easier to kill, it'd make more sense for me. Wait, you can just put a creep under the cocoon? You have to kill it first, though, right? No, this isn't the map with the Norads, Rua. Uh, yeah, I remember that, Matthew. You don't need to kill it. Oh! That's crazy! I've never seen that done. So basically, you can build a creep colony right on this thing. Right here. That's crazy talk. Alright, well, the DT doing some stuff. A bunch of mutalisks flying into top left. But the Goliath turret count is a little bit too high to feel comfortable, so they get an SCV and then back on out. Maybe another couple SCVs. Alright, what's well, DT's got five kills, is pretty happy with himself. There's a scan available too. But only one Marine. Ah, oh, I thought he had the body block. He did not. <laughs> That'd be cool. Rugalitarian. Alright, so DT out. Shamed. A shameful death. APM's not bad in this one. I need to see a Zerg player do this, because I've never seen it. The Zerg, I don't feel like they need the help. Like, since when does Zerg wall off anyway? Like, I guess against Zealot attacks and stuff, but... By the time that shows up, you can spread your own creep up here. Look, that's what he's done already. He's just spread his own creep over this way. Adu Torinas. Hey, Liz Pop. What's up, Liz Pop? In the house. How you doing? Vid having a great time. Yeah, so Morgan, how does... What do you mean build under it? What does that even mean? Oh yeah, my cam is on. What's up? Decent stacking here from Rarnvid. No, you can't have your natural base. That's burning down. So if you build a sunken here, does it remove the overmine cocoon? Does it go away? Ah, oh man, can these mutas do this? Kinda feel like they can. I don't know. That is a that is a tough, tough situation there. What's up, Makwa Bear? Who is 
Okay, so they're killing their own overmind cocoons. So it just looks like an overmind cocoon, but there's a sunken underneath it hiding. That's incredible. Lift the command center. Bright Orange is hoping for the infested CC. I think everybody in chat's probably on the same page there. Get a t-shirt with Terry the Overlord on it. That'd be a bad idea. This Mutaflock heading in. Enough, man. He's just going mutalist today, huh? Did a pretty good job here. Rambit's the only person who's really been super aggressive today. I guess the DTs from Team Red have been pretty good here too, but Team Blue seems very content just to sit back and kind of turtle up for the time being. Team Red, trying to zell it in there, it doesn't go super well for them. So basically, your YouTube profile picture, Terry the Overlord, that one. Wait, 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 so there's already a creep colony under it. I'm so confused by this. You're not gonna be doing the cyberpunk. It, uh. Boy. Gonna have to get a new video card to stream that one. Yeah, he's just the Muta Man here. Hello, Andrew Trobeck. Alright, just some creep. So when you build the sunken here, is it invisible? Does it just look like an overmined cocoon, but it shoots out sunkens? Sunken spines? I'll do my best, Bright Orange. Yeah, out on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Falcon Paladin. That's where I stream all my non-Starcraft stuff. I need someone to do it. Like... Dude, Ramvid, just build some sunkens here, man. Another expansion coming up from Space Dominator. Oh, pushing out here, Team Blue. With the Goliaths. Yuta's not doing super well here. Zealot's coming in to assist in this situation. Uh, Phasmophobia. I've never heard of this game. I am reluctant to play games I've really never heard of in my entire life. So. I don't know, 
know. Place your bets. What do you guys think? Team Blue have this or does Team Red have this? Kind of feel like the Terran team might have this one. They're pretty good with their mech. Mech's going to be really good both against what the Zerg player is doing and what the Protoss player is doing. They're pretty patient with it, right? They're slow pushing. Kind of like it. And the Mutas have done a great job of harassing. Tim Red trying to push it out. Not happening very well. Oh, Vulture's getting into this fourth base of Ramvid. He's down to 22 workers. He cannot be happy about that. Yeah, Mako Bear. I did. Dresden Files is great. I love them so much. Can't wait for the next one in five years or whenever it is. Yeah, Protoss has really just been kind of turtling, hasn't he? Uh, yeah, so the second channel for StarCraft 2 is just because the way it works is if your YouTube channel has something you're posting that gets lower views than the stuff you normally post, then it doesn't like it, and it causes you problems for the algorithm. It really wants you to post stuff that gets the same amount of views or more every time. So StarCraft 2 was getting less attention than Brood War, and then getting referred less because of it, and then getting less views and referred less, and it was a death spiral. And so I moved it to its own channel for its safety. Terry, the Overlord and friends, get out of there. What's up, Norman? He's Mutas, man. Have we seen him do anything else other than Mutalisks? Shoot, what's up, RJB? Terry, this is still Terry? My goodness, Terry. You're still alive, even after all of the blood and carnage. Yeah, it's like a handful of lings and some scourge. But other than that, it's mass mutalisk for Ramvid. He's really falling behind in overall supply. I mean, when I said slow push, I did not intend for this to mean you're going to sit here for five minutes, but it's all good. Oh, how many mutas have died in this game? Like 50? they have upgrades. Got plus two attack rolling. Oh, oh. Spider mines for the DTs. What's up, Teddy Ruxpin? Aqua Bear. I mean, I assume anybody who's at my StarCraft 2 channel now knows about the other channel and the archive that exists, but maybe they don't. Hey, Stuart! What's up, man? $25 super chat. Ay, caramba! Thank you so much. Will you be my friend? 
Um, sure, Stuart. We're all friends here. I think we're all pretty on the friend terms. <laughs> Weird daddy. Uh, uncomfortable. Yes, spider mines detect DTs and will attack them, but they don't provide vision for anybody else. So a spider mine that sees DT will attack it, but it doesn't mean anybody else can see it and attack it. Nice, Lizbop. know about this whole making DTs all the time for against spider mines play space dominator it's not going super well I would say here for Team Blue is that Polarity's main base is completely on fire and he's losing his production facilities. So that's not good. On the other hand, not much going on here for Space Dominator. He doesn't have much of an army supply. He's got 65 workers at least. Yeah, yeah, bright orange. Uh, Boxer is widely considered the best player of all time. He hasn't played for a while, so it's hard. It's hard to argue him versus Flash. They're different eras, you know? But yeah, Boxer. Look him up on Liquipedia. Search Boxer Brood War and you can learn all about him. Great, great Terran player. Eric's accepting friends request for $10. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it, Eric. Yes, this is getting fairly tight. Like, I'm looking at it, and I don't know. I mean, uh, there's... Space Dominator doesn't seem to have an army, which is an issue. If he had, like... A couple few carriers, or like... I, I don't know, man. This entire army supply seems to be in probes at the moment. I'd feel better about Team Red, but I mean, Team Red lost his entire main base too. So we're looking at two players that are extremely crippled. 23 and 44 supply respectively. Polarity is at 180 supply. Polarity is down here. He's the one who needs to carry the day for blue. And this mass muta stuff just doesn't seem like it's going to cut it. Versus 186 supply of Marines, Goliaths, and tanks from Polarity. Yeah, then there's Nada. I mean, bah. there's the concept of the bourgeois, right? What's up, Jason Turner? Yeah, I mean, unless Ramvid can take this army down, I think Team Red is toast. I don't know what Space Dominator is doing with his money. I don't understand it. I guess he's mined out of a lot of his bases, but this one's okay, and this one's okay. But every time I look at him, he's spending his cash. And then he has, like, a 12 Dragoon army. Yeah, Boxer's not the one who invented that play, but... Uh, he popularized it, right? He was the first huge name to really make it his thing. I'm sure some lesser-known player came up with the whole idea. 
but his name does not live on in StarCraft Harmony. StarCraft history, rather. Yeah, yeah, remastered looks good. I agree. It's very pretty. Alright, man. So, Polarity is out of income. He's not making money anymore. This is turning into a pretty tight situation. Ah, trying to... Trying to live down here is Polarity, but... Uh, nope. Yeah, so the income is toast. This is turning into something pretty interesting. What's up, Disco Potato? Sounds good, man. What the heck is a TY channel? Is that a channel dedicated entirely to TY games? Disco Potato, Disco Potato. Alright, so upgrades here. 3-3. Three, three. 2-1 on... Ugh. Polarity's upgrades could be better. Tanks are sieging up against these. Dragoon Space Dominator at 123 supply. Polarity at 116 supply. The army's bigger for Polarity, though. Oh, oh, DT's... DT's where... It is up here. Do you have the comsat energy? You certainly do. Get them. No, I didn't have enough to kill them. You have to kill them too. Disco stew. Oh, just YouTube. Okay. What's your uh, channel about, Disco Potato? Man, Ramvid is a 39 total supply, but it seems to be all plus two attack mutalisks. All right, DT Dragoon Mutalisk attack. On Zave. Nope, just kidding. We're splitting off, guys. Ah, trying to expand down here. Where's your detection? Oh, Team Blue's going to lose this thing because he doesn't recognize when DTs are attacking his stuff. Okay, well, shoot, that's a problem. Uh, Polarity is down to 98 supply. Space Dominator and Rambid have more than him combined. Dude, the snipe on the tank. Kind of fantastic. Honestly, really good stuff there. Yeah, his APM is entirely dedicated to flying around Mutalisks, apparently. Boom, boom. Yeah, Polarity's inability to recognize when DTs are wrecking his stuff is a problem with a capital P. He's got enough Comsat energy to scan quite a bit. Yeah, I mean, I'm not even sure if this one's hotkeyed or anything because it's got full energy on it. But yeah, he's got enough scans to handle these DTs for sure. Alright, so Polarity's got some income here. Space Dominator still has this income here. Hydro is too dumb. I mean, Hydra is too dumb? Oh, Team Red taking the middle. That is some... Ooh, that is some tough, tough space there. And actually, Ramvid getting some income too for his ability to make Zerglings. Because that's all the tech that he has right now is a spawning pool. Idaho potatoes are great, Bright Orange. Yes, they are. Five Guys. Uh, five Guys is a big old hamburger fast food chain in the U.S. And they get all their potatoes from Idaho for a reason. Their fries are great. Love Idaho potatoes. Hey, look. Reaction time for DTs continues to be... He could have actually... <laughs> he preemptively got out of there. Scan. Scan. 
Well, he did scan, I guess. It's just not enough. The DTs, though. Holy crap. Alright. DTs are the MVPs of this match, but only because Polarity doesn't know how to scan at all. I'm not sure he has scans on hotkeys. Alright, so Team Red's got this thing. It is over. There's more income here. There's a bunch of Zerglings out with, I don't know what upgrades they have. Zero, zero upgrades. I'm sure they'll be fine. Ah, the missile turrets do help, though. Zerglings going for the counterattack here. Polarity losing some meaningless missile turrets. Tim Hortons is only a Canadian thing, Disco Potato. I've never seen them in the U.S. Yeah, well, you'd be healthier if you had less fast food, Bright Orange. Wait. Oh, that is how that works. Yeah, I think Subway is actually the most ubiquitous fast food chain in the world. I think there are more Subway restaurants than anything else on Earth, including McDonald's, which I think is crazy. Alright, well that's it for Blue. This is the last income for Polarity. And yeah, that's your GG. Apparently, uh, Polarity doesn't want to go home quite yet. Be careful, he has like three siege tanks. That'll probably ruin us. Yeah, look at this. Income here. These Muta's not accomplishing anything for Rambid. He's afraid of losing them, maybe? I don't know. Rambid's not great. Like, he really likes doing Mutalisks, but not great at anything else. He's been sitting on 4,000 minerals and 1,400 gas and hasn't, like, made anything but Zerglings for the last 10 minutes. Yeah, I don't know. Polarity has 2,000 minerals and 300 gas, so he could make a bunch of stuff, too. He's, in fairness, his production tab is productive. Yeah, five guys is great. It is also expensive. Like, a cheeseburger combo from five guys is, like, two to three times as much as from other hamburger places. It's excellent. It is by far my favorite fast foodish hamburger, but it's also not really fast food priced. So it's kind of cheating that way for it to fit into the category, you know? There you go. 44,000 Subway restaurants on Earth from Matthew Shirts coming in. With the stats. Polarity leaves the game. That's it. Say sa. Yeah, good comeback, honestly. I did not think that, uh,. Team Zerg Protoss had that, but they made enough, did enough, and the inability of Polarity to recognize when DTs are murdering his stuff was his problem. Shawunk. Yeah, Last of Us Part 2 was a ton of fun. You can find those VODs out on twitch.tv slash Paladin as well. Alright, so we're here in October. We're at the 25th, we got ourselves. RJB's here. He was here a minute ago. Oh, shoot. Let's do it. This is going to be a three versus five. It's the fastest map with Queen. Uh, Soul Key's in here. Who else is in here? Soul Key Light. So Queen, Soul Key, Light are working together against everybody else in the mix. This is like a 3v5 lower level scenario.
RJB is here. Okay, let's go. Check out the RJB channel if you love fastest map stuff. Click on his name, and you will be happy. All right, 3v5, red v blue, shenanigans. Team one is queen. And I, who's who? Sulky? Is Sulky Protoss? Gonna have to assume. I don't know. I don't know who Hotube or Buketube is. But sure. The other team is FDSAS, ADF, DFFS, Camo505, Torque 10 nm ASDS, AQQ, and Pay. These names are just incredible. You want a fastest beard stroke ever? Seems like a plan. Terry has arrived at work. Happy he's accomplished something today. Okay, so Hotub is light, Byuk is sulky. Alright, good to know. micro there at the end of the day. Oh, get him. Uh, he had like no HP. Kill him. Uh, uh, yeah. If you send me a replay on Thursday, I don't know. It might make it, it might not. If it's Friday or Saturday, you send me the replay. It's not going to make it for the next stream. I need time for my screeners to screen their stuff. That 65 APM player. He's having a good time. Everybody else is just spamming hard. Super hard.
first time someone's tossed a base into my chat. <laughs> nice number one villain. All right, so who's this? This queen over here? It is. So queen's getting pressured a bit. As all Zerg players do in fastest. See how it goes. So bottom right, all together, that is our heroes. Good call, RJB. Alright, so Queen getting pressured by a bunch here. Trying to assist from the down south here is light. Sulky's in the mix here too with his zealots. So they're working together to chase this off, but this is still pressuring. A lot of sunken, so you can't necessarily just kind of A move in here with these dragoons. And a bit of a counter attack here, both from Light and Sulky. Going after Pei. Are they going to be able to snipe down this Nexus? It sure seems like they will. Oh, 300 HP. Nice hold. Hydra's out from Torque 10NM, though. Oh, Queen going to lose. Queen loses his spawning pool. Are you kidding right now? I don't think Warcraft 3 failed, Bright Orange. I think Warcraft 3 had a great run. Really fantastic eSport. Really popular. Yeah, there you go. People coming through. Warcraft 3 defense. Yeah, this pressure on Queen is serious. What can Queen even make? Uh, Queen can't make stuff, you guys. Oh, Hydralisk then, never mind. We're making Hydras. Here they are. Ooh, I like this DT Zealot army that's coming out of Sulky playing Protoss, by the way. What's up, Kaya Ralonos? Got some Reavers defending from uh, Light here. Also off racing as Protoss. What's up, Nintendo? Blarg. And I'm gonna try to Reaver drop up here on FSDA. Okay, all right, down to 15 SCVs. Not good at eight minutes on a fastest map, especially. Up, Xi Jin. And I think our team of three might have eliminated their first enemy here. He doesn't seem really to have enough to handle this. Kill Mori, I do it manually. And Light gets out of there with his shuttle, which is incredible. Meanwhile, some pressure on Soul Key. We got Torque down here. We got Pei down here. The Storm's going to be pretty good on defense. But is it enough? I mean, this is a nice little two-team-up combo here on Soul Key. Yeah, that, the narrator for Warcraft 2 was um, the same guy who was the knight, right? The knight voice actor for humans. <laughs> I come to serve. He's so deep. Light showing. Again, light defending everybody. Queen's been given some time now. So he's going to lose that hatch because it's too close to the edge, but whatevs. It's fine. For the king. I mean, I don't know. It's a little bit of an English accent, but nothing specific as far as I can tell. Oh, the lurkers are up, though. Man, the lurkers here from Torque are great. 
super, super good. Light kind of carrying today, I feel like. He's been doing a lot of damage to everybody on the other team. At the very least, getting some of these cannons. Alright, so they finally take it out. 19 workers here for him, though, so did take some damage, obviously. I would die, Mako Bear. Is there a footman in Warcraft 2? What are they called? They just I don't I'm not remembering this for some reason. I don't I guess Oh they are, that's right. You just never make them after a while. Jeez. Ogres are hilarious for sure. Here comes the Muta Bomb on Queen, though. Yeah, we'll do Scary Terran next. And he does actually snipe the main lair here for Queen, which is problematic, but not the worst. Yeah, this Muta Bomb is terrifying. Uh, it's not getting cleaned up, you guys. Uh, this Muta Flock here is incredible for ADS. He's been left alone the whole time, and of course he has a maxed out Mutalisk army. Does manage to hold. Enough Hydras show up here for Queen to shut it down. That is a lot of Mutalisks, yes. Team 5 is trying to take the center, which makes a lot of sense in this situation. Man, these Lurkers doing some absolute work for Torque. They're going to get cleaned up, but man. I like they each have like 8 kills each. Yeah, that took a lot of work to get rid of those. Mutos bombing in again, and Queed's worker count is 87 somehow. It should be worse than that, but it's not. How does Queen have 90 workers with all of this? Yeah, those lurkers paid for themselves for sure. Trying to push up together here. We've got uh, Sulky and Queen trying to take the middle from everybody else and still not handling these mutos mutalisks at all. Okay, finally it's cleaned up, but only after Queen is down to 38 drones. Okay, Queen just lost like 40, 50 workers during that attack, so that's fantastic. Dude, AS ADS is just the mass muta king of the world right now. He's absolutely wrecking it. 1-1. One, one. Uh, I don't know, Escalade. We're just on uh, Roll20, if Roll20 has a version that, that it always uses. Or if you can choose a different version. I really have no idea. I, I'm a novice, basically, at Dungeons & Dragons. Muters are coming down for an attack on Sulky. Uh, 
KSD is going to lose all of the overlords. That's bad. But also bad is this happening. Oh, Nexus down. Rope count for Sulky down to 50. My gosh, this is so many mutas. Oh, they're taking the cannons down so that... I guess uh, there are some lurkers in here. Oh my gosh. Dude, come back. Put a lurker right here. I guess it doesn't really matter. Meanwhile, Queen is working together with uh, Soul Key to try to take down ADS, who's a giant threat in this game. Take a wild guess, Escalade, what I play. Alright, so there's some assistance coming up here, both from Torque and from him to try to save the day. Uh, Sulky Income just died. That's it, man. Sulky is down to 24 workers, has zero income of any kind whatsoever because all of his nexuses, excuse me, are gone. But at the same time, ADS just got wrecked. Riggedy wrecked. His final hatch is down. His spires are off the map. Because apparently that's what happens when he builds spires at the top of the map. Yeah, I can't see them anymore. Okay, so one... I mean, if you're Team 5, you'll take a one for one here. If you kill Sulky, but you also lose ADS, that's probably a fair trade. Except that ADS was terrifying with his Mutalisks. Okay, so... Ba -da -ba -ba. I mean, Sulky's not dead is the problem here. Sulky is rebuilding a Nexus. Which is a little problematic for Team 5. Cork going for some Guardians, which will die at this moment. Yep. I always like getting thumbnails with guardians, but uh, good thumbnail. I don't know. The guardians are always so far away. Torque's trying to hold with Lurker Guardian, which is a fantastic composition. What? Did he get dropped? He must have got dropped. Fair enough. Hey, look. The Guardians are all completely dead. Are we surprised? No. An offensive storm coming in to try to deal with these Hydras. DTs in the mix as well. But that's a hold. Alright, so Team 5 or Team 3 at this point holds on. Which is a problem when the other three players are Queen Light and Sulky. Seems problematic for sure. Sure have, Bright Orange. Devourer is mostly showing up in fastest map games that I've cast in the past. But also sometimes other places in 1v1s. Definitely got some infested Terrans before. And infested command centers too. Lurker drop, nice pro pull, getting them out of there, but like the Zealots are not having a good time. They're straight up not having a good time. The storm drop though on Torque. Takes him down to 38 drones.
Alright, so no Dark Swarm means these guys are fairly easily handled, but... What else? It's cool. Queen was here to help. Good job, Queen. Hey, look, more guardians that are gonna die. There we go, the Bowers game. First one I came across. Hey, what's up, Mirko? Light pushing up with Queen, trying to take down Pay. Reavers defending though. The Zealots are very happily at 3-1-2 upgrades. And yeah, Bayi holds on. Got some help there for sure, but definitely still alive. Guardian inning again? Yes. Are these Guardians also going to die? Yes. They certainly will. I mean, they're kind of split out. They're doing all right here from Torque, but jeez. That second storm, man. I love Guardians. Guardians were my favorite unit back when I was playing a lot in, you know, 98, 99. Always oh, very fun. Hey, we got an Ultralisk here from Torque, which makes a lot of sense. Do you like doing some Ultralisks with their six armor? Just killing High Templar, no big deal. Storming dead airspace, but I think there probably was a Guardian there at some point. Ultras trying to take down the Nexus. Doing all right. I mean, they're going to get into the actual HP. Woo! Double storm doesn't stack. <laughs> But still, hey, Dark Archon in the house. What are you up to, Dark Archon? Carriers in production from Pei. It's a 3v5, Michael Hornberger. Ultras do have splash damage in StarCraft 2. The carriers are assaulting. Oh, the storm drop, though. Whoa. Snuck that one in. Pay hey, just snuck a storm drop here on light. Took him down to, or not light, soul key. Took him down to 25 probes. 12 o'clock is 
mostly dead. So Pei is down to 28 probes. Yep, good drops. That was a nice drop down here too. God, the Lurkers. Torque has just been having a great day. He's got 3-3 three, three Lurkers in the mix. 3-3 three, three Hiders, obviously. Man, with the Carriers on the left side and the Hiders on the top side, Sulky's in trouble. He's down to 45 total supply. Doesn't have much of an army. He's trying to do something with these High Templar, but does get a nice storm down. And another good storm. Queen coming in, trying to help Sulky stay alive. And Queen's at 128 supply, Light's at 160. Yeah, man. Sulky's down to seven total probes. Scourge coming in against these carriers. Getting some nice hits off. I don't know. What? Oh, he mind controlled a carrier. <laughs> very nice. Light ends up with his very own carrier he didn't have to build. Light's down here. Sulky's here. Queen's over here on the right. up amendment but yes he's uh got oh oh he mind controlled a drone too and he's set up here very cool very very nice the mind control comes out so he's dead but guess what light's gonna have well light does have two armies available to him scouted it out though torque is here to shut it down Carriers in production, though, from him. Payback. Pays back. He's doing all right. He's got 106 supply. Not fantastic, but fine. And Queen taking direct hits to the face with this Lurker Guardian setup. With 3-2 upgrades, by the way. The light's coming in to try to shut this down and should be able to. Very nicely. But Sulky, I don't... Like, Sulky has enough money to rebuild, but you got to get rid of these carriers first. Light's carrier does finally get sniped out after getting two total kills. And, yeah, his attempt to, to live up here did get shut down. I see you. I see you drops from Pei. And here goes nothing. Reavers dropping out of the range of Sunkins. Ugh. Ah, decent hits. Nothing crazy here. Queen's still at 65 workers. And as Mutas are going to wreck this. Yeah, I think Soul Key is just dead, man. I think it's going to be Queen versus Light. Light lost his personal Zerg army. So that's not happening anymore. If you're in a 3v5 and you're on the team with 3, is it okay to mind control a worker? Or do people get mad about that? RJB. Carriers might as well come in and see what they can do against Light. Light's got a High Templar sitting here that I don't know what he's accomplished here today. More mind control on these carriers. More storm. Decent Scourge hits, taking out several of these carriers from him. 
M's down to 150 supply. Torque is maxed out, dude. Whoever this Torque is, he's not a bad player by any stretch at all. I see you. Ah, uh, got one storm off. 53 kill. High Templar. Torque dropped down to 28 drones. One High Templar got out of that drop. That's all he needed. And he's still sitting here. He's going to have enough energy for another storm in just a minute. Not too long. Yeah, these carriers just aren't making enough enough of an effort. Dude, these shuttle... Oh, I don't know about this, guys. I'm thinking you're all dead. Oh, oh he got the unload. Okay. All right. Ten kills on that one. Lights down to 42 probes. Yeah, this is looking pretty dicey for Team 3 here. Team Pros. All right. See you, Christopher. Dragoons. Gonna make this fight a lot easier for these Hydras. These 3 3 Hydras. This Lurker burrows up top. Get some free spines off before he ends up dead. Because again, these are some pretty upgraded gateway units. 3 3 3. Across the board here. Car these carriers just keep getting added to. Is the problem. Yeah, Soma's having a good year. Smash for sure. 313 Archons. Soul Keys rebuilt in the top right over the corpse of FDSAS. Like, absolute the corpse of it. Yeah, I mean, shoot, 23 workers for Soul Key. Nice resurrection, man. Way to come back from the dead. This game is uh, a little long. I feel like some Maelstrom would be kind of awesome here. Maybe not. Man, Torque is just back. He is consistently just back from outer space, man. Scourge not accomplishing a lot there. Yeah, this queen might just be in trouble. He's under 100 supply. An army is at his door. The Scourge are doing great against these Guardians, though. That was some massive hits. Really, really massive hits. Oh, right. Maelstrom only works against Bio. Thank you, Rua White Pod. Oh, he's trying to supply block Queen. Hard to do. Not a bad goal at this point. And they did shut down Sulky up here too. Sulky's attempt to resurrect his toast. 
And uh, yeah, unless Light can win against three maxed out enemies who are not scrubs. Dude. <laughs> the High Templar Archon drop. Absolutely crazy pants. And yeah, you know what? If all you're making is carriers, all you need is 70 APM. Him's doing all right. He's got 333. Three, three. Hold on, does he not have attack upgrades for his interceptors? Am I reading this wrong? He doesn't have attack upgrades for his interceptors. What is happening? Man, Scourge is so hard to control. They will just die. They will just die to anything at all. Oh, Torque just going mass, mass Hydra here. I think these carriers have just been sitting here for like 15 minutes and they haven't made any progress. Guess who's back? Torque is back from outer space. Oh, that's it. Okay, so... Oh, shoot! Queen just taps out. There you go. Team 3 comes out on top. What a fantastic, fantastic win for those guys. That was beautiful. A torque carrying these carriers from him doing work. Pay with the drops, the storm drops, the reaver drops. Coming back from the dead. And once they took out Sulky, it was a two scenario. And there was enough. 3v2, they were able to do it. That was fantastical. Very, very, very good game. ba da ba, -ba. Torque, 897,000 points. More than anybody else in the game. Light at 724 was second. Queen at 597 was third. Units produced 1,333 for Torque, 1,314 for Queen. Both lost about 1,000. Torque killed way more units. However, Light coming out, 1,294 with the win there. Yeah, Torque's going to win the next ASL for sure. Yeah, Light out, mine everybody for minerals gas though look at this look how much more gas was mined by torque than anybody else he was very gas heavy in fairness and he outspent everybody too what a boss what an absolute boss all right <laughs> bright orange g22 is a bot huh. all right one more replay and then we'll play some stuff How's that sound? Good, great. Let's go scary Terran. All right. Boop, 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 boop. It is Terry time. So we've got top versus bottom, yeah. So Democracy, the Sosa, Lovecraft and Useless Mushroom versus Valrak, your mate, and Soviet 1973. Boop.
this seems pretty bad. Lovecraft having a bad time down here. But kind of preventing this cannon rush from doing... Ah, no. No. Bunker repair not adequate, and I think Lovecraft is just dead. Hey, fairly well. Okay, goodbye, goodbye, all the income for Lovecraft for some time. This contain here is pretty good. So new home here in uh, Useless Mushroom's house. Like, yeah, man, make a siege tank, huh? So democracy has largely been keeping out of this, as a good Zerg player should do in a giant team game like this one. Oh, crap is going to feed his cat. <laughs> and here we have the great Maginot line. So blue's down a player, or sorry, red's down a player, effectively. Also, this guy is super isolated, which seems like a problem. What's up, Jedi Mind Trick? Welcome to Strim. Have I be considered becoming a VTuber? I don't know what a VTuber is. Leah? And, uh... Another hour or so Jedi, maybe a little bit longer. We'll see. This Terry here? I think that's our Terry. If I remember correctly, that's where he went. Should go pro. Yeah, no. Nope. I don't think it's possible for me to make enough playing StarCraft that I will quit my job. No, sir. Oh, Terry's this one? Okay. Hey, Terry, you're doing fine. You took a little damage, but you'll live. Yeah, this um, giant tank setup here is concerning for Team Red, which means 
let's see. Democracy might make some units eventually. We've got some lurkers and some hiders for drops, but for the most part, not interested in making a whole ton of anything except for mutalisks. All right. So 10 mutas in production. A virtual YouTuber. Uh, I work in the software industry. I do reverb drop software testing for a cloud backup product. Oh, took too long. Didn't explode. That was close. Lovecraft isn't even coming back, man. Like, he's just barely at five workers again, and he died five minutes ago. I mean, it is a pandemic, Jedi. mate got dropped, but Siege Tanks probably destroyed it pretty quickly. Would be my assumption based on what we're looking at there. <laughs> That's right, I do reaver drops for my job. Aren't you very jealous? Is a virtual YouTuber somebody that has like a, an, an avatar that they are... That's like the visual version of them? I know, I've seen some Twitch streams that do that. I haven't seen YouTube do it though. Another reaver drop. Storm drop attempt gets absolutely shut down there. Yeah, another attempted drop. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, no, I'm not a programmer. I just do testing. Jordan. And Le Guardian in production. As we see in Fastest Map, more than anywhere else in StarCraft is the Fastest Map version. Yeah, okay. So I know, yeah, there's a Twitch follower that I follow that does that. It's pretty fun. Valrax down to 33 SCVs. Sieging up here. We've got Valrak and Soviet working together against useless mushrooms. Has Lovecraft done anything yet? He's up to 12 supply. Lovecraft, come on, man. Seriously. Maybe don't wander into a publicly tank fire? Reasonable? Another storm drop a Rooney over here. Your mate is still at 62 SCVs. Nothing too terrible happened to him. And we're just kind of bio tank Goliath pushing all of a sudden up here in the top right. Uh, the Sosa's got storm and got zealots. The storm's really doing most of the work here today, though. But guess what? Reinforcements have arrived. This push is. A little bit scary, except the storm is absolutely crushing it. Dude, if there was a dating app called Lovecraft, <laughs> that would be hilarious, Bright Orange. Alright, so the Zealots are on your tanks. Not going well. We gotta take mid. Good luck with that, man. We've got Valkyries, Siege Tanks, Goliaths. So many missile turrets. That is going to be a hard center to take, Team Red. I don't know what to tell you. Hey, look! It's a Devourer replay. Ta-da! Look, Koa. We got one. 
All right, hold up. Thumbnail incoming, I can feel it. Eh? Ooh, yeah. Christmas colors. Thumbnail, good. What do we think? Hang on. There, actually shooting yellow goop. Or pink, purple goop, whatever color that is. I like it. Is that a good one? It's a good one. Alright, sweet. Are there enough Valkyries to handle these devourers? Because that's the big problem here. But yeah, it sure seems like there are enough Goliaths combined with Valkyries here to just wipe out Democracy's entire army. So that was rough stuff. Meanwhile, Blue's attempts to attack up this way are being met with some stiff resistance. Like, this guy who's been trapped in this corner is absolutely hanging out. He must have got dropped and I missed it. Yeah, we see Valkyries more in Fastest Map too. Yeah, the Acid Spore attack. Hi, matey. Who's back with all the mutalisks in the world, though? It's democracy! But guess who has all the Valkyries in the world? Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh, why? Democracy might be in trouble here, friends. He's trying to make Hydras, but he can't break through this. Like, maybe a a drop, right? A big Hydra drop up here would be good, but you're not getting through this giant line with Hydras. That was a weird storm placement. I don't know what he was going for there, to be honest. Yeah, I, I don't know. I do hope Blizzard sells the StarCraft IP. Because Activision Blizzard, I don't think has any interest in using it for anything. I agree. Maybe they will. Who knows? God, the decision to merge with Activision was just the worst. It just feels like a total money grab with terrible, terrible consequences. Has Activision never sold an IP before? All right, so here's the Reaver drop attempt. Uh, it's it's fine. It's here. They got three attack. They're fighting against Goliaths that only have one attack and no armor, so that's pretty good news. This is what we're talking about here. This is ye old Reaver Drop. Or Hydra Drop, rather. Irradiating the Hydras a little bit. And uh, doing some work here. Gotta say, not bad. Red trying to push into this. There are Battle Cruisers operational. Yeah, Activision still does Call of Duty. That's why uh, Call of Duty is in the Holy Reaver Drop, is in the Blizzard Launcher, 
Yes, that's because that is the why. Useless mushrooms down to 25 SCBs. Meanwhile, giant blue doom drop heading up to democracy. Holy what? What's he? Defensive matrix up, dropping siege tanks right on lurkers. <laughs> okay. That was absolutely shut down. Hardcore. That was incredible. Cake is a lie. All right, so democracy is down to 32 drones regardless. He did take some hits there to his economy, but stayed alive at least. Democracy's Guardians getting some work done versus these Valkyries that are in the general vicinity but not interested in actually defending anything. There we go, you guys. That's what it's all about. You know, if Lovecraft had any interest in actually playing this game... I'd feel better about this for Team Red. But, like, he's not. He's got a couple siege tanks in here, and that's literally all he's done today. I know we got cannon rushed, but jeez, what a useless ally. Battle cruiser versus a battle cruiser with some Valkyrie support. Alright, so blue pushing up here, bringing an actual good mech army this time against our top riding, uh, the Sosa. And now things get a little bit scary. He's trying to move into carriers, but he might be a little bit too late for that. Yeah, drop in middle here. Useless Mushroom calls the GG. The battle cruisers have overwhelmed his front, and he's done. Sosa's out. And that's it. Lovecraft not helping. And Team Blue are your winners. Democracy throwing out the wow. Uh, apparently, Democracy is still going to win this game. So that's cool. I support him on this. It's not over yet. Yeah, taking the middle, especially with siege tanks, means you're doing a pretty good job. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Democracy, I believe in you. But you're... Oh! That one hit was 50 drones! He was at 75 and he went to 25 drones. Holy kernoli. Alright, well, the battle cruisers are here. Democracy has a huge bank, so it doesn't even really matter. But 
But what does matter is being able to get this giant mech battle cruiser army off your front door. I mean, isn't SC Battle Royale just a free for all? Hey, what's up, Bubble? Uh, hello, good Bubble. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good Sunday. Democracy is building Hydras, but uh, not really going to work out here. And Democracy with the GG does tap out in 25 minutes and 22 seconds. All right, let's play some StarCraft, ladies and gentlemen. It is time. It is time for those shenanigans. T -t Democracy outproduced everyone and outlost everyone by far. That Muta switch, when you know the enemy has a ton of Valkyries, was an interesting one, I gotta say. I think that might be the first Democracy loss we've cast on the channel, so there you go. Don't count Lovecraft out yet. Fair enough, yo. Top scorer, at least. It's true. Top scorer. <laughs> Password is sock, it's always sock. A bird just landed on my foot. Okay, be right back. Let's fill this up. Do, 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 hey, hey, all right. I'm gonna put something on that wall. I kinda need to do some poster rearrangement this week. Let's see how it goes. All right, is everyone happy?
Dang it, Kaya. about green screening. Kind of like my gaming posters back there. RJB is first time Saruman-ing. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> What's going on with the sock comment? There's a slight echo? What are you talking about, Morgan? And no, here's the thing about the music is it's either here or it's like 50% of this. There is nothing in between and it sucks. I'm familiar with crusty sock concepts, absolutely. That is not what kind of sock this is. This is a regular, wholesome sock. Sounds good, Disco Potato. Wilkins Coffee Time. Oh, the Wilkins Coffee Time. So good. What's up, Luke? All right, RJB says we're good. Attack the hinge, attack the hinge, attack the hinge, attack the hinge. That's right, get out of there. working out, I would say. Oh, 
I am a Gluck, the commander. Good, uh, good setup here. It's not bad. Someone's lagging out hard. What's that? Ansem. No, Ansem. What's up, PO Lab? Oh, a survival course. How'd you do? Wow. Ansem. What the crap, dude? What happened? Isn't DC? Isn't DC Ansem? internet died you didn't survive bummer sorry to hear that PO Lab I'll send a rest in peace up for you I think his internet just died <laughs> I don't think this is lag I think it just died on him entirely that's incredible Is good. Agreed. So, how we doing? Dark swarms up. That's good. Stupid Hydra is being dumb. Oh, Shag died. That sucks. Dark Swarm to get through here. I just, just feel like it's required is the thing.
That's right. Get out of here, man. Our forces are under attack. Emily's leaving. No, why can't I select this tank? Observer over there, what happened to you? Our forces are under attack. Our forces are under attack. <laughs> that tank gets stuck. Incredible. Okay, we're making some progress here anyway. Our forces are under attack. Hey, progress is being achieved somehow. I don't know how, but we're doing it. Purple's pushing. Yes, we're up. We're in. Dang, we did this without a uh, dark swarm. That's pretty good. I got to admit, that's pretty good. Another round of DTs came in, but I don't think that's enough. Another tank got stuck on Ugluck. What is that all about, dude? Come on. Dude, I think we're in. Amazing. This is working out. Thanks, Makwa Bear. I think it's working pretty well. back just a little bit. Take down the elf spawn. Let's get it. Is later is why.
like how they have like 10,000 HP. Is that the most? The most you can have? Maybe. Oh, got an archer spawn. That's not good for them. minutes we're already up top yeah the caves are super packed shirts we're not wrong about that Hey, Matt Perkins. <laughs> you want a match fix for you? Interesting request to make. getting stuck all the time. Uh, just regular fries, Matt Perkins. Okay. 
Yeah, well, there's five guys in, in and out, right? Like, put those together and what do you get? Uh, not really an old bay kind of a guy, turns out. Yeah, I think we have places that serve poutine here, but definitely a Canadian All thing. Forces are under attack. All forces are under attack. Ah, half my guys got stuck. That's terrible. I believe it. What? Is that Old Bay like a northeast right. thing too, or is it mostly south? Yeah, I got some snow, Jedi, definitely did. Yeah, big time snows today. having a great time for sure. All forces are under attack. RJB, no. RJB, you gotta Mass left side, trying to move the odds. I mean, right side, dang it. Our 
forces are under attack. What's up, Edward? All forces are under attack. Yes, Forces are under attack. Our forces are under attack. Yeah, we've had a couple high schools go to online only because of COVID in the state. Yes. shot well, look. move your obs up uh, guys are getting stuck Tourism board has a smell of snow and warm. Oh, you know, just some of world class skiing. That's fine. Nobody ever comes here. You're right about that. Oh, I did. I had him selected, and I was clicking on Gimli, and then he died. Progress is made. Let's go. Forces are under attack. Make up your mind. Some elves down there, in all fairness. Our forces are under attack. Our forces are under attack. Right here, I guess. You can Legolas garbage. I'm like two shotting all my tanks. like it here why are you here what? all right then. all 
forces are under attack. Mm. Someone directly. Okay, we're around the corner. Jedi, I don't know if I believe you. $4,000 for an ambulance ride. How far did you go? Like from Salt Lake to St. George? Really? I'm glad you like my posters, Alexander. Oh, you're gonna see Gandalf. Don't worry about it. Corner is a brutal one. I mean, did you pay that or did your insurance pay that or you do not have insurance? These are my questions for you. Because, like, yeah, before insurance, sure, maybe. But if you had to pay $4,000 for an ambulance ride out of your own pocket, then I don't know what to tell you. Make up your mind. What? Oh, why this guy's all seized up. Should work. Our forces are under attack. Ah, uh, GG. <sighs> That'll do. If you don't kill Haldir, or Legolas, or Aragorn, or Gimli, you're gonna have a bad time. Ah, uh, dead, you baby. Yeah. And I did, RJB. You lost your guy. Yep. 
Yeah, that was some good stuff for sure. But uh Saruman killed as a thing. Alright. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Some more Zerg on here. What's up? Wazer What? Uh I I don't know, I cast a lot of Zerg, I feel like, but okay. Yeah, smoking's not good. Alright, well. You know what? I'm feeling like that's it today. That was really good. That was a really good Helm's Deep. Really fun. Very close. Very fun. And uh, that's going to be it. So thanks for hanging out today. We'll be back. Sorry, I'll try to set the schedule for the correct time next week instead of 12 hours after it actually is. So you guys know to be here. But thanks for hanging out. We will catch you all later. Stay safe, stay healthy. And above all, please take care of yourselves. Goodbye.